Connected apps are a new way to implement a single sign-on system for Tableau dashboards that are embedded in web applications. In order to demonstrate the capabilities of connected apps and the new version of the Tableau JavaScript API, I have created a playground page. In this video, I want to give you a quick rundown of how to work with this page and how connected apps can be configured. So let's take a look together. I am here on the uh, playground page and this playground works with Tableau server online and public. Um, what you can do here is you can um, start embedding your Tableau dashboards. Um, you can set um, device properties like height, width, and for example, the device type. You will then get a kind of an instant preview of how your dashboard looks embedded in a web page. You will also get the code behind the embed. So I think this is a really good way of learning how to um, use the new uh, JavaScript API version 3 but also how to learn and understand um, connected apps and how they work. So let's get started. Actually, let's start with um, Tableau Public uh, because as we know, Tableau Public doesn't have any kind of authentication. So I'm gonna hit uh, get started here. And what we now have is on the left-hand side, we have the configuration and then all the, um, the elements that um, the Tableau dashboard that will be rendered will appear here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to configure a dashboard. So I'm going to put in a link to a Tableau public dashboard. You can see I put in um, a, a kind of a, a similar, a, a simple sales overview dashboard that I have created. And you can see it instantly renders on the page. Um, now this is because Tableau public doesn't have any authentication, of course. Um, if we want, we can immediately hop into the HTML output. And this is the output uh, that you could, for example, put in another tool. So imagine you are embedding um, into your own HTML page. What you could do is this is already a fully rendered HTML page. It has the, um, the link to the dashboard plus some of those properties. So if we start updating this, um, imagine we actually want to change some of these settings where we set the width um, rather than 1,000. We want to make this 1,200. What we'll do, the, the dashboard will re-render and the, the actual width is now to 1200. What we can also do is set of some of these other properties, like hide the toolbar, hide the tabs, for example. However, in Tableau Public, that is not possible. Uh, we'll take a look at that when we do Tableau Online. So if I go to the HTML output, we can see these properties update automatic. So if I want to set the height also to 1200, you can see all of those properties are immediately updated here. Now, I already mentioned uh, this thing called connected apps. And how do connected apps work? Well, they can only be configured with Tableau Server or Tableau Online. So connected apps, um, they allow you to set up a trusted relationship between your Tableau Server or your Tableau Online site and a custom application. Now, the process um, that, you, um, that you follow to do that generates what we call a JWT token, so a JWT token. Um, now, there are some key components to this. Um, we have three um, items. So we have the secrets that you need to generate. We, you can set the access level and the domain allow list. So the secrets, uh, we'll take a look at it in a bit. The access level is important uh, to note because this is very new. You can, with connected apps, you can scope the um, embed elements to a project. So you can say only content from this particular project in my Tableau server online site can be embedded. Previously, it was either the full site, right? When you use trusted authentication. So connected apps are replacing, in this instance, trusted authentication. We also have the domain allow list. Uh, which is a way to uh, um, specify which um, particular domains should be able to um, to render the dashboard on the page. So I'm now at a, a URL called playground.informationlab.io. This is a particular domain. So what I could do is I could only say allow this particular domain to render my dashboards. Any other page that would try and render this wouldn't wouldn't work. Uh, and then we have the secrets. So the secrets are the keys. Um, you need to um, you get, if you configure this, and I have um, 
the steps involved with configuring down here as well. You create a new app, um, you give your app a name and then it generates three keys for you, a client ID, an app secret ID and a connected app secret. Uh, you need to use those three and they will generate together with um, your username a JWT token. Um, now, where do we reference um, these connected apps? Um, these connected apps, um, those tokens, you typically do in your back end. So what we have here is, uh, is the front end code, of course. Um, but what you do is you send these values and typically you hold these values uh, in your back end anyway. Um, and that um, together they create some kind of handshake and that sends back a unique token. You send that to the front end and then you add that to your um, HTML to the Tableau web component. So if we go to the HTML output um, and we'll see that this is the new Tableau Viz component and there is another property called token and that's where you then put that. So let's take a look at how that works with Tableau online. So I'm gonna replace the URL in here with a Tableau online URL. Now, what we see when we are putting in a URL for Tableau online is that it asked us to log in. Now we want a single sign-on experience here. So what we need to specify is these JWT settings. So first we need to put in a username. So I'm gonna put in um, the username that um, needs access to this dashboard. And then I'm gonna add in the, um, the specific secrets. So I will do that now. So I have now added these uh, properties, the username, the client ID, and the secret ID, and the secret. If I now hit generate embed, what we should see is that um, it's now gonna generate the actual dashboard coming from Tableau Online and it's creating that single sign-on experience. Uh, and in here, we can, of course, change all these. So if I want to change the height back to, say, 800, uh, we'll see that it then starts re-rendering the, the, the actual dashboard, and it's nicely there. Now, at the bottom, we have here a, quite a, an interesting or annoying a toolbar, so we can hide that as well, which doesn't work in Tableau Public, but works when you use Tableau Online and Tableau Server. If your um, Tableau dashboard contains tabs, you can also hide them. Uh, we also have the option to disable URL actions. So if you don't want people to, to be able to navigate through the dashboard with URL actions, you can also remove those. Uh, and in touch optimized is related to mobile applications. Uh, we can also change the device type. So if we wanna see how a particular dashboard renders on different devices, we can change that as well. If we then go to the HTML output, we can now see, because we're using Tableau Online, that we have uh, the option to add the JWT token here. Okay. And that was a quick rundown of how this um, Connected Apps Playground works. Um, let me know what you think of it, um, and hopefully it's, it's useful.